This is a digital music trends uh, coverage of South by Southwest uh, 2013 and I'm here with uh, Moses uh, Shoyola. Uh, he is the CMO at the company Jamplify. So hi Moses and thanks for joining me Absolutely. straight off the flight from here. New York. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's, uh, it's an exciting time. Great. So let's talk about Jamplify. Uh, sort of, uh, I know you guys have been around for uh, you know for a little while, but let's just like talk about gen generically what the company does and how you guys started out. Sure. So Jamplify is a social marketing platform that enables artists and other digital brands to really motivate their fans to spread the word for them and activate the word of mouth potential in their fans. Yeah. So artists can go to Jamplify and create campaigns where they're offering fans rewards based on how many other people those fans drive to check out that artist online, whether yeah. that's an artist's YouTube videos, an artist's shows, an artist's iTunes releases, anything with a URL they can use Jamplify to promote and get their fans to spread the word for them. Yeah. And so, um, what what got you to to uh, you know start the company and you know what's your background on the on, on the front? Yeah. So Andy and I, Andy uh, Andy Pickens, who's our CEO, uh, we started this company together about a year and a half ago, along with our CTO Matt. And uh, the idea from Jamplify really came from a desire to to see artists figure out independent artists mostly to figure out ways to to promote themselves beyond sort of the way the the, the way they're able to do it. Uh, through the gatekeepers. So Andy woke up one morning and had a YouTube video in his inbox from friends from high school uh, that had 300,000 views just purely on word of mouth. Yeah. And from that we said, okay, you know what, word of mouth social is really a powerful thing and the idea that fans can spread the word, we should be able to tap into that and figure out a way to capitalize on that. Yeah. And so that's that sort of was the impetus behind Jamblefy and, and both our backgrounds. So Andy's been in bands his entire life as a musician. I used to in college book shows for bands, independent artists booking at, you know, different different uh, different venues around town and so that's it's a bit of my background and then and you know we we were we were worked we sort of worked together outside of music for a while and then yeah. decided that all right, it was time to go back to our passions and, and sure. work in music. So uh, every time you know uh, you start a company, of course, there's a lot of uh, prep work and a lot of stuff you have to do in a vacuum before you actually bring the platform out. Yep. And when was it a moment where you you, you, know, you worked on a campaign or, or something happened where you thought, yeah, we're actually thinking that there's something here and we, we hit something here? Yeah, I, so, yeah, so I think the first time that we realized that we had something that was working, it's funny, anytime, it, anytime like, something good happens we'll be like it's working yeah. but um, but we, we launched a campaign for uh, an artist named Katie Armiger back in the fall to promote her YouTube video and she's an up and coming an up and coming country act and she immediately saw you know 70 plus fans drive thousands of other people to check out her video and we were like okay if this can work for her then this can work on such a grander scale and so that's when we realized all right we have something here this platform is powerful this is a great idea that we should keep going with and yeah. pursue yeah sure and what type of rewards do you have for the fans uh yeah so it's so we actually require on our platform that the rewards be tied to the artist in some way so we're not we're not allowing people to give iPads or cash rewards to their fans because yeah. we really want to keep that integrity that promotion going. So sure. the standard rewards have been free tickets to shows, meet and greets at shows, phone calls from artists, Skype calls from artists. Um, but what we see that really works well are sort of one of a kind experiential rewards. So yeah. Jasmine Viegas, she's a pop star. Uh, who used to tour with Justin Bieber. She recently ran a campaign on our platform to promote her YouTube video, and she, for her top reward, was giving away the outfit that she wore in that YouTube video, in her music video. She was giving away the specific outfit that she wore in that, in that video. And so her 13 to 17 year old fans, which are you know, <laughs> just incredibly active on social media, incredibly rabid, she had 670 of those fans drive 190,000 other people to check out that YouTube wow. video. And and it's because they were competing to win the outfit that Jasmine was wearing in that video. Yeah. So cool. And another major campaign that you did uh, pretty recently was uh, that for Fifty Cent. Yes. So how did that come about, and how did that work out? Yeah. So so we recently had the honor of uh, winning the Medem conference out for our category in marketing and social engagement in France. And uh, and on the heels of that, we saw a lot of interest from. A lot of the major labels as well as independent labels like G-Unit Records, like 50 Cent. And so we went in there and we showed them our product and they wanted to do a campaign promoting 
their radio request page on a platform called spins.fm. And so, you know, they were running this campaign for a while and seeing a few requests a day and they decided to run a Jamplify campaign where the top promoter was going to win a day in the G-Unit offices with 50 Cent where he'd get to take 12 photos with 50 and uh, 12 photos of 50 to make a calendar. Yeah. And so that campaign saw uh, saw over 600 people drive 116,000 other people to check out that radio request page. And what's more important is the conversion on that. So they weren't just going to the page and then jumping off of it. Yeah. You know, they were seeing a few requests a day, maybe like fewer than 10 requests a day before they launched the campaign. Yeah. And then in the first day, that number jumped 10x. And then the next day, that number jumped 100x. So pretty powerful stuff in terms of Jamplify, actually, those referrals. Yeah. Continuing on to do the actual action that the artist wants on the heels. Yeah, of course, and uh, uh, and uh, what you're talking about here is also like the uh, you know a real, a real realization of the of using the super fan. That everybody's talking about this you know fantastic idea of the super fan that you know you have to go after and you have to convert more people to becoming super fans. Right. But here we're talking about you know relatively small numbers of people that are actually driving a huge huge amount of traffic. Yeah, right? definitely. I mean, on on the Jasmine Vegas campaign, the top promoter, the top fan, drove thirty thousand other people to check out that video. And, and and that that little girl is you know she's a she's a 15 year old girl who has 30,000 Twitter followers yeah. and you you might think oh like you know it's just she just went at, she just went out and bought her Twitter followers on Fiverr but no like she tweets and a thousand people come in yeah. and, and she does it over and over and over again and she sees a thousand different people come in and watch this video every time she's tweeting and so we realize that like that's the demographic like those 13 to 17 year old girls who can get anyone that they send a message to to do something that's the if you have that fan base then <laughs> you've got something really yeah. good going you're doing all right and uh, looking at the challenges uh, of uh, you know talking to labels about uh, you know your, your model and what you're doing uh, you know what is the usual reaction and uh, do you find it quite uh, difficult or easy to to get labels on board on that yeah I think that from our perspective once we once we sort of get in the door and talk to the label they are very interested in what we're doing they are very interested in figuring out ways to systematically motivate their fans to spread the word for them yeah. uh, I mean some have seen other platforms like ours in the past or that sort of did similar street team type things in the past and are a little bit skeptical but when we show them results like 50 Cent seeing 600 fans drive 116,000 other people to check it out, or Jasmine seeing 700 fans drive 190,000 other people to check out her video, then they're like, okay, you know what, let's run a pilot campaign, let's figure out like how this works, and, and let's use it for our artists, because our artists are at least as engaging as those, and so we can we can definitely see this working for us as well. Yeah, sure, and uh, looking at uh, smaller artists, of course, because I know there are a few artists that also listen to the show that, that do their own digital marketing, uh, how, how are you guys structured in terms of uh, costs and yeah. Uh, uh, can anybody use the, the, the platform? Yeah, so what we've, we've, we've built Jamplify to cater to all levels of, of artists, um, whether that's your 50 Cents or your Katie Armitter, who's a small up-and-coming indie country act. And what we've done is we've structured it such that you can pay based on the number of referrals that Jamplify, that you're able to actually get out of your fans when they're sharing with Jamplify. And yeah. so... Uh, if you went to our website right now, you would see that you could pay fifty dollars for up to five hundred referrals, which is for your really small indie acts. You could pay a hundred dollars for up to a thousand referrals, or you could pay five hundred dollars for unlimited referrals at this yeah. point. And so, granted, these numbers are things that are always in flux, but um, but basically, what we want is for anyone that has a fan base to be able to use this platform and actually see some value and see some results out of it at a price that makes sense for them. Of course, of course. And looking at uh, so, uh, so things that you'd like to introduce into the platform uh, uh, and looking at the next few months, uh, what do you guys have in store? Yeah, so we're, we're really looking to turn Jamplify into a holistic street team management platform. So right now when you create a campaign, you sort of, you create this campaign and you run it and you can see the aggregate stats on how many people came in and promoted, how many people they drove in at the end of the campaign you get their contact information to settle up the rewards what we want to do is is provide you more data beyond that so not just the high level stats but really drilling down into each individual fan okay where are they driving the traffic from are they driving it from twitter are they driving it from facebook are they driving it from some community forum that you didn't even know people liked you on as an artist that's that's huge and then where geographically are they driving the traffic from yeah. you know maybe you have a fan who lives in new york but is very influential in detroit or is very influential in san francisco or very very influential in new orleans we can tell you that with our platform and tell you exactly where geographically their influence lies 
at the individual fan level, which is important when you can sort of go in go through each of these promoters and say, okay, you know what, we, we have something coming up in this region, let's segment our top fans uh, into these smaller groups and, and maybe run a campaign with just these smaller, with just the smaller group in order to, to spread the word in this specific area and specifically target this area. Yeah, yeah sure. And uh, when, when we talk about crowdfunding and, and rewards, there's always the, the question mark of the fulfillment side. Uh, mm-hmm. I know that I've talked to a few people that have done, you know, uh, pledge campaigns or, or Kickstarter campaigns and uh, it's always, the hardest moment is always when you have to actually fulfill mm-hmm. some of the stuff that, that you have to do. Uh, and so, uh, is there any way to facilitate that do you think uh, for artists and, and help them to in the fulfillment stage of what they they promised they would do so so one thing we are looking at is is fulfillment of is helping in the fulfillment of digital digital rewards so what we often recommend is that an artist offer some sort of digital reward to all the fans that promote or at least all the fans that reach a certain threshold you know maybe it's they say everyone who drives 10 or 20 referrals yeah. will get an exclusive video from us yeah and so we're either you know looking at figuring out ways to do that ourselves or bring in other platforms that can sort of help in the fulfillment of those digital rewards where it's it's just a click of a button and then you can distribute those to the fans uh very easily for the for the hard goods we we uh we do still leave that to the artist to to fulfill and we try to make that as as easy as possible and you know there are agencies that are actually i actually just discovered this a couple months ago there are actually agencies that are purely about campaign fulfillment. All right. Um, I don't know the names of any off the top of my head, but you know, establishing partnerships with agencies like that might be something down the road that enables us to assist in the fulfillment process. Yeah. Awesome. Or at least being able to recommend them to people. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And it's jumpify.com. Jumpify.com. Yes. And uh, uh, check it out. And the, the Twitter handle is at Jumpify. At Jumpify. Yeah. Right. And thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Andrea. It's great to be here. It's great, and uh, this is a Digital Music Grants coverage of uh, South by Southwest uh, 2013 that will continue throughout this week. Come on, come on.